Who's this guy? Look at this. Look at this. The CIA's bankers. Also known as Wall Street and the big banks. Right? Who are those? Who are those people? Cox, Wilson, Bush. Aha! He's looking at the cards. Look at this. He's actually holding up a deck of cards, like trading cards, and he's got Bush on there. Very cool, very meta. What is this? The cards. CIA attack. Ha ha ha. Wow, wow, wow. CIA's bankers. Card number 14. The Nugent hand bank what is this what is this january 1980 frank nugan co-founder of the australian based nugan hand bank was found shot dead in his car on the outskirts of sydney over the next few years the australian government investigated the firm's mysterious activities they discovered that the bank did not they did no legitimate banking during its seven-year existence. What it did do was launder money for many large Asian drug traffickers and arrange arms sales to several third world countries. The banks, the bank's officials were mostly retired US military and CIA personnel, such as Admiral Earl P. Yates, former chief of Navy's Pacific Strategies, General Leroy J. Manor, former Chief of Staff for the U.S. Pacific Command, General Earl Cook, Jr., and Edward F. Blank, Waller, Wal Walter McDonald, former CIA Deputy Director, William Colby, former CIA Director, and Nugent's co-founder, co Michael John Hand, a former special forces operative in laos who disappeared shortly after the bank collapsed wow the investigation showed strong links between the bank and cia bank and bank and hand cia superiors in laos theodore shout shan shackley and thomas Kleins, as well as with former cia and navy intelligence agent Edwin Edwin Wilson Wilson's longtime partner Frank Turpel Turper Turpel explained Nuke's hands role in the CIA drug wars in a 1983 interview quote where do the drugs come from Laos who is the boss of Kleins Shackley who were they coming from where were they coming from Laos the pilot was Sikord. What was what was on the plane? Gold. He was he was going to pay off the warlords, the drug lords. Now what do you do with all the opium? You reinvest it in your own operations. Billions of dollars, not millions, billions. Where did the money come from? Nugent Hand. There you go. Wow wow wow. 1983 interview the Australian connection the Australian connection well not really headquartered in Australia but ran uh, operated by CIA and US military right retired the same type of retired generals and US military that come on corporate propaganda news and tell you that the United States is winning the war everywhere and 